What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life with another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, one of the signs to pay attention to when the Heavenly Father is about to do something in your life. He's about to turn things around. Stuff about to work in your favor. One of the things to pay attention to is that you have a great fallout with people. It can be with people that you care about your loved ones, family members, long-lasting relationships, all of a sudden come to an end. And one of the things that begins to happen is this. You want to tell people about the goodness of God, the, the stuff that he's doing in your life. And it seems like when you try to share this with people that you care about, it seems like that conversation backfires. The reason why this happens is because the Heavenly Father is not ready for you to speak about what he's doing in your life. See, if you speak about the blessings of God that's happening in your life prematurely, it can come off as if you're exalting yourself instead of allowing the Heavenly Father to exalt you in due time. Because sometimes when you try to share what the Heavenly Father is doing in your life, too soon, the people you're talking to might not be ready to hear that. They might not be ready to receive this type of message. They might not be ready to receive this type of blessing. See, the Heavenly Father taught me this early on. He said, if you tell people you won't enjoy, plain and simple, if you tell people you won't enjoy, because when you start to talk about all the good stuff that's happening for you in your life, and you start to talk about what God is doing, how he is transforming your life, how because you remain faithful, now God is ready to exalt you in due time. When you start to tell people about stuff that's happening in your life, it causes them to look at their own life and say, where mine's at? When I'm going to be blessed. And even though you might be in a position to where you're able to help people that you love, the thing is, it can never take the place of having their own. So that's why people that you help out sometimes might seem like they're not grateful. But really they are. It's just they're waiting for theirs as well. So that's why the Heavenly Father, sometimes he just don't want you to talk about your blessing too soon. And that's why we have that great fallout, because God is creating space so you can learn how to, you know, operate with what he's giving. you. In other words, we got to mature spiritually and God got to renew our mind. But that's one of the signs to pay attention to. When God is about to turn your life around, you might go through a great fallout with people. And that's because the Heavenly Father don't want you to speak about your blessing prematurely. See, I didn't know this early on, but when you talk about what God is doing in your life, that's also casting your arms before men. That's casting your arms. And what the Bible say about that? You already have your reward. So when you already have your reward, guess what? There's people that see this. They want a piece of the pie too. But everybody can't receive what God is giving you. So what happens is it can cause envy in people's heart. It can make people turn against you. People can resent you because they've been waiting for a long time. They've been waiting for the Heavenly Father to do something in their life. Now they got to watch you and also listen to you talk about what God is doing in your life. I did a video, shoot, maybe a couple of months ago titled Win and Silence. Let the Heavenly Father do the exaltation. 
Because like the words say, you can't hide a city on top of a hill. The glory of God going to shine through you regardless. As long as you continue to remain faithful and stay close to Lord Jesus. The glory of God going to shine. But you got to allow the Heavenly Father to do the exaltation. Let the blessing speak for itself. Because when you talk about too much of what the Heavenly Father is doing in your life, when it's attached to your blessing, see, there's a difference between spreading the gospel, spreading the message, or even talking about your testimony. But when you talk about your testimony, you don't always have to talk about other things that the Heavenly Father is doing. Because the Heavenly Father got a time and place for it. See, we're going to glorify the Heavenly Father's name, but we got to wait on God's timing. Allow the Heavenly Father to use you for his will. Allow him to put you in places that you didn't pray nor ask for. Allow him to do the exaltation. Because sometimes we can speak about our blessings prematurely. Don't speak about your blessings prematurely. Because sometimes we might think it's good and it should bring hope to people that's close to you. But sometimes it can have the reverse effect. You think it might affect them positively, but it might affect them negatively. Because at the end of the day, everybody wants their own. It's not saying the people don't love you, the people don't care about you. Just, we all got to go through that waiting process. And when your life starts to turn around and people start to recognize that, sometimes the devil can use that to cause wedges between people as well. So that's why the Heavenly Father. Sometimes want us to win in silence. So don't talk about your blessing prematurely. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.